Okay, welcome back again everyone. Um, sorry about the noise in the background, just a, the usual thing around here as soon as you start videotaping someone starts a mower or a whipper snipper. Um, anyway, we're back onto the um, faceting machine, this will be part number three. Um, we need to change out this protractor on here. As you can see there, you can see the angles on it. What they want is to take this protractor off and put a digital one on there make it a bit more accurate to read so what I've come up with, I'll pull this protractor off um, I'll have to take this bush here off and machine it back a bit because that way I'll expose a bit more of the shaft because when you move this up and down the shaft also moves and I'll put a piece of angle line on here and I'll be able to sit this on here and as you move it up and down this protractor will move as well so that, that's the plan well, we'll see what happens. All right, let's get on with it. Okay, the first thing to do, I'll take this bush off, and we can set that up in the lathe. I'll just actually mark that before I take it off. That way, I know which one's the top. Okay, that's the bush there. So what I need to do is machine it back probably about five millimeters. That'll give me a bit of the shaft that this shaft here will be exposed a bit more. All right, let's head to the lathe. All I'm gonna do is machine the front of this off, like just face it off. I will set it up in the chuck. And you gotta hang on to it by a little bit. Indicator on there. Okay, that's five millimeters off. And we'll go and install it again. Okay, we'll just fit this again. All right, that's fitted. Next part, um, I'll cut up a piece of angle line, 50 mil long, so it's next on the list. Okay, I've finished cutting the angle line. Um, what I'm thinking about doing, because it's got to go into this shaft here, it's got a little screw that screws in. Um, I might drill and countersink this bit of angle line 
so it sort of slides on and I can do up the screw to hold it on and this top part it's magnetic so it'll hold that on so I'll have to cut that off so it's not so long I'll be overhang on it and I might cut a bit of an angle on these just to clean it up after I've countersunk it alright so I'll head over to the mill and I'll drill and countersink it okay um, I've got this center punched right where I need to drill the hole so I'll just set it up in the vise Just make sure it's flush on the top of the jaws. Very good enough for this job. Okay, that's good. Alright, the first hole I've got to drill is um, four millimeter The next size is um, nine and a half millimetre. It's the same size as the shaft that I've got to put fitted to. So I'll just get it started with this one and then I'll stick a, um, a slot drill in it with a flat bottom on it. nine and a half millimeter drill out and I'll put in a nine and a half millimeter um, slot drill so that I'll be able to make it a flat bottom On the front of the miller machine there's um, a depth gauge so at the moment I've got this drill bit or this um, slot drill um, the bottom of it's flush with the top of this so I need to go down three millimeters so I'll just zero that okay. and I'll start it up and I'll go down three millimeters it's three millimeters deep that um, countersunk part should be. Yeah. And it's three millimeters deep. Okay, that should be right. I'll just go and fit it and see if it works. Okay, we'll see if it fits. So that's the countersunk, countersunk hole. Ok, 
Okay, this should go on there. Okay. Works the way it should. Nice and tight. Right. Now I'll take it back off and I'll cut this overhangy bit that's hanging off. And Might even round the corners on them just to make it look a bit tight, uh, nice and neat. And I've marked out what I'm going to cut off. You can see the line there. I've also marked a little bit on the edges, a little bit of a radius. I'll just nip them off and I'll take them to the grinder and grind them round. So I'll cut them off a bit and then head to the grinder. So I'll cut this off with a bandsaw. Just to make it a bit easy. It's all ground now. Um, I'll just go around and deburr it all and then I'll give it a coat of paint and when it's all dry we'll come back and fit it. This part's all finished now. What I'll do I'll fit it. Okay this is what it looks like from the other side. You can see the numbers moving. It's a bit more accurate than the normal little protractor he's got on there with a little pointer on it this one's electronic a bit more sensitive all right so if you want to watch part one that was fitting um, this stopper went from nylon to the metal take the play out of it um, part two was um, fitting a switch and a new bracket to hold the switch and of course part three was fitting the digital protractor so i'll leave the links in the description Right. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next job.